Welcome back. I'm here with Kathy Davis, and Kathy is one of the original team members who helped create Cricut. You know, all of us want to add some personal style and our own expression to our homes. Absolutely. We can put vinyl on so many different things that accent our home to bring a little charm and character. Take this metal plaque, for example. Isn't that amazing? Beautiful. Look at the intricacy of these wings. You know, anybody can do this with a Cricut expression. Look at what vinyl lettering and vinyl imagery does to wood. This is actually one of my personal favorites. This yes. looks like pen and ink from years ago. It really makes it look like an antique. And you know, no matter what we create with the expression, we can use vinyl in so many applications. For example, these pressed flowers. I just placed vinyl just in a matter of minutes. I was able to add the little pop I wanted. And to these are real flowers. Project. Boy, you could take someone's wedding bouquet and put their name and the date of their wedding on here. What a wonderful gift that would be. Wouldn't that be awesome? I love that idea. You gotta show us how we can do this ourselves. <laughs> okay. You bet. You know, I've brought plenty of vinyl and some tin. Let's go to work. Okay, now we're ready to make our wonderful Inspire plaque. The first thing we want to do is pull my tacky cover off of my cutting mat. And you want this to be tacky because it'll hold your vinyl in place. So we're going to go ahead and place our vinyl right onto our cutting mat. And we'll place it into our machine. The next thing we want to do is grab our plant and school book. And inside every cartridge, you get this wonderful handbook to every image that's offered on your cartridges. And then you have your soft key overlay. Look at all of the images that come on our cartridge. And we're just going to place it right onto the keypad. And then you have your little cartridge. And we just slip it right into the machine. And I'm simply going to turn my machine on. Now we simply select our image. So we're going to type in Inspire, I-N-S-P-I-R-E. We're going to select our size and press cut. And you know what I'm so impressed with this is that you can cut such a wide range of sizes. We have all the sizes represented here from one quarter inch clear to, and this isn't all of it, okay, because we have all of these and we'll take it down and we have still all of these sizes and if we remove this we still have all of these sizes and guess what we have four more sizes that i couldn't fit on here so you get all of that in every cartridge now all we need to do is press unload paper we're going to peel this off i'm going to release some of my word from the rest of the vinyl because if you're frugal like me you like to save every scrap okay so i'm going to set my other letters aside you guys are going to love this this is so neat I like to rock my vinyl as I remove it because it allows me to take it away from the letters, as you can see, really easy. And you have beautiful letters cut in just minutes. Now, we're gonna take the rest of the letters for our phrase and I release the other. I'm gonna go ahead and run one piece of transfer tape across the whole section. This transfer tape is so important. And you can reuse so, it, which is great. Oh yeah. And see, with that, with that much effort, it's done. Okay, so now we want to release our back from our Inspire. So we just take it and gently rock it. And it's going to reveal those nice tacky vinyl letters. Nothing difficult nope, about so this, so easy is to it? release that. And look at here, we have Inspire ready I to mean, go. I mean, you can see if you wanted to put that up on the wall, how yeah. easy that would be to just line it up anywhere. Now we want our metal plaque, or whatever it is you're working with. And I'm just going to place it right on my plaque. Now this is the magic right here. As we rock it and reveal it, Look at how beautiful the letters are. They look like you've painted yeah, them Yeah, it's on. just so professional, like you'd see in the store. Yes, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Perfect. So now, we simply repeat the process we showed you earlier with our intricate butterflies and also with our beautiful rose. Now, we can add our borders around the corner and our project is complete.